Welcome to this video. Today I would like to show you more about the group divisor and the factor group base and how they are affecting the numbering of the elements. The group divisor as well as the factor group base are both a significant part of Sophistic's numbering system. Both define the final element number of every single element along with the specified group number as well as the automatic consecutive numbering. The group divisor can be defined in the Sophistic System Information dialog box. Two options are available. Both will be explained in more detail later, so just a brief introduction. The first option is Fixed – Group Divisor. The group number of a single element is defined by the integer division of the element number by the group divisor. The second option – Automatic – Factor Group Base. When using the option automatic, it is unnecessary to define base values. It is essential to set up the integer multiple, which will be the base of the element numbers of the next group. Let's have a more detailed view of the available options. So let's start with the first option, fixed, group divisor. As mentioned earlier, setting the group divisor is possible in the Sophistic System Information dialog box. For the following project, 10 is used. The behavior of this option will be demonstrated on a simple structural line of a total length of 11 meter and a partition of 11 elements. The group number of this structural line is set to 1. Exporting this structural line will end up in an error message. But what is the reason of this specific error? Before understanding the error message, to figure out a solution, let's have a look at what exactly happened during the export. The graphic shows the elements and their information after the failed export. The horizontal line represents the finite elements or beam elements. The numbers 1001, 1002 and so on are the node numbers. The two digit numbers are the element numbers and related to the group divisor. The single digit numbers represents the assigned group numbers. You might have already recognized the graphic shows as well a group number 1 and 2. This is a part of the error message when exporting the structural line. So let's find out what exactly happened. You remember a group divisor of 10 and the group number of 1 were defined. It gives a possible maximum of 9 elements. Nine because the software starts counting with 1 and ends up at 9. In this specific example, the required number of elements is 11. Two elements need to be shifted to the next group number. In this case, group number 2 is used. Let's jump back to the error message and break down the information. It says 21 elements in group number 1 aren't allowed because it exceeds the maximum of 19. What makes sense? Only 9 numbers within group 1 are available, from 11 to 19. The second part of the message suggests a solution. It says to increase the group divisor. To change the group divisor, we need to go back to the Sophistic System Information dialog box. Defining 100 as the amended group divisor allows us to assign 99 elements within group number 1. Now let's check the new element numbers. As we entered 100, the first element starts with 101, the second is 102 and up to 111. Moreover, and this is important, all elements are assigned to group number 1. How does the numbering system work when using the option fixed group divisor? The group divisor multiplied by the group number defines a base of the numbers. Adding then each single element number results to the finite element number. So now have a look into this graphic. In this graphic, 10 is multiplied by 2. This gives us 20 as a base of the element numbers. To get the final element number, it is necessary to add each of the software automatically defined number, in example 1, 2 and 3. The result is the final element number, 21, 22 
and so on. The same works for this example. 100 multiplied by 2 gives a base of 200. Adding the single numbers gives us the final element number 101, 102 and so on. Now let's jump into option 2, automatic, factor group base. When using this option, automatic, it is unnecessary to define base values. However, it is essential to set up integer multiple, which will be the base of the element numbers of the following groups. To demonstrate the automatic option, it makes sense to set up two different factor group bases. In the following example, 10 and 100 is used. Two structural lines. The first one shows a total length of 12 meter and 12 elements. The second is 11 meter in total with 11 elements. For both, different group numbers are used. 2 and 3. Let's check the first definition of a factor group number 10. The first thing to mention, there is no error message when exporting the structural lines. The reason is, the element numbers aren't longer explicitly defined with a fixed group prefix, and so there is no shortage of available element numbers. The first beam number of the above structural line is 11, the last 22 and all beams are assigned to group number 2. The first beam number of the structural line below is a 31, because 10 was chosen as factor group base. So the software uses 10 as the integer multiple to evaluate the start number of the elements of the next group. In this example, the numbering starts at 31 and ended at 41. You might recognize that the element number isn't longer related to the defined group as it was in option 1 for fixed group divisor. Let's keep the example but simply change the factor group base to 100. The numbering of the upper structural line starts at 101 and end up at 111. However, the numbering of the lower structural line is defined from 201 to 211. Again, because the factor group base was chosen by 100, the numbering for the next group starts at 201. In option 2, automatic factor group base, the numbering system works slightly different. New elements of a different group are starting in the lines of the factor group base. It means if the factor group base was chosen by 10 and the last element number within the group is 22, the element number of the following group is 31. So it starts with the next 10. If 100 was chosen for the factor group base and the last element was 112, the element number of the following group is 201. So the next 100. And this brings me already to the end of this video. I hope the last few minutes could give you a better understanding of how the group divisor and factor group base affect the element numbers. Thanks for watching.